What's up, family? This is your boy, Built on a Budget, coming to you this morning with another video. Hey, y'all, uh, it would have been good this morning for me to come to the family with car content, but I woke up this morning with a little different heart today. Uh, we all know that we had these bad storms over in the western part of the state in the eastern part of Tennessee, down in Florida, Georgia, and all of that. And for the past couple of days, our internet was really, really sketchy. And therefore, uh, all that was going on around us, uh, we was like blacked out from it, other than stuff that I could get on my phone. But uh, I kind of woke up last night about midnight and happened to turn on the television and I was able to see a lot of the devastation at hand and it's sad people there's a lot of loss of life a lot of loss of property a lot of destruction that has came upon the states because of this storm and I know, first off, you know, y'all gonna, a lot of people is gonna use this old cliche that it's an act of God. Well, I wanna debunk that, first off. Let's, let's, let's talk about that. Because, first off, if God is love, right, why would he be full of such destruction? And there's a big misconception with that because a lot of the insurance companies always like to put on your policies, act of God. And so God get blamed for a whole lot of things. The God that I serve is a God of love. I mean, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And if he loved us that much that he sacrificed his own son, why would he turn around and destroy us with storms? Everything coming from the earth is not God. And that's a, it's, it's a subject that you really need to be taught to understand. And, and I'm not going to take the time in this little short video to try to teach you or convince you anything other. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to read what Jesus said himself. Now, if you believe in him, then you ought to believe what it is that he said. And so, I'm going to read just a scripture that's going to debunk all of that. And it's coming from St. John, chapter 10, verse 10. And he said, The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. He said, I come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So Jesus said, hey, one of the reasons that God sent him from heaven to, to, to die on the cross, that we would have life and we would have it in an abundance. He didn't say nothing about uh, he was going to come, that he would destroy us. And then I'm going to take this thing over to the Amplified Classic, which kind of clarifies it a little bit more. It said, the thief come only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I mean, that sounds like what we just witnessed over the last week. He said, I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. That sound like the God I serve. <clears throat> Take it in the natural people. If you are an animal lover, and every time you kick your, every time you walk past your dog, you kick him. You think he would think that you love him? You think that he would want to be obedient to you? I think not. And that's an animal. How much more are we as human beings? People, I just want you to know that, you know, there's a lot of people suffering this morning. Republicans, Democrats, blacks, 
white, Hispanics, all nationalities has been affected by this storm. And we know that the scripture tells us that a house divided against itself cannot stand. And as we see, as we witness, as we know, it is it is an elephant in the room that there has been a lot of division in this country for whatever reason or another. And and that's the house. And we as a nation has been divided and the devil has had legal rights into our life to kill, steal, and destroy. And, you know, my channel, Built on the Budget, is designed to bring all people together, man. And it has done that uh, over the years using car content. So any of you that has followed me, any of you that, that, that like my channel or viewing this channel, you just know I'm all about unity, people. If you met me, if you know me, I'm the same guy. I don't care who you is, what color you is, what your nationality is, man. If you love cars, then let us just enjoy each other. But this, this, uh, the states is hurting right now. And the Bible tells us that if my people that are called by my name, Christians, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, that he will heal the land. And it's time for us as believers to not be a, a just a Democrat believer, a Republican believer, or, or whatever your party affiliation believer, but be a believer of the word of God and begin to seek his face and put aside all of these other agendas that divide, that divide us as people and come together and get on our knees and begin to pray and try to bring this country back into a status of unity. United we stand, divided we fall. It teach us that since we were in grade school. And if we don't learn to get back to that formula in life, we're going to experience a whole lot more destruction in this country as a whole when the rest of the world is sitting back laughing at us as people. So, I mean, none of that is important right now. What's important is the well-being, the safety, and the recovery for those folk that is in the western part of our state. And so what I want you to do this morning, if you are a believer of the word of God, is to just join along with me as we pray for the healing of the state, for the recovery, for the destruction that has taken place over this last week. Because if you look at the news, people, there is no red flags. There is no blue flags flying. It's all of them. And they hurting. And these people need help. And these people need unity. These people need to come together as people, as a country, as a state. Not as a political party. Not as a nationality. Not as a, a anything other than, hey, we hurting right now, and we need help, and prayer is, is part of that, that all of the entities that is involved to bring help to these people can come together and unite and get these people what they need in order for their recovery. I mean, you seen the devastation if you got television. You heard the devastation if you only got radio, but the devastation is real, people. And God just prompted me as I sit last night and I watched the TV and I said, a C-10 ain't important. A camper is not important. Uh, a S-10, a Ford, a Chevrolet, Lord, all of that, none of that is important this morning. What is important is that through prayer that we try to bring together the forces to unite 
regardless to what side of the aisle that they are on, to bring the help to these people because everybody is hurting and it don't matter who you pulling for, who you want to vote for, what color the flag you want to fly, or uh, whatever, what color your skin, uh, none of that stuff matters right now. What matters is everybody is hurting. So join with me right now and, and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you, God, for being a God that loves us. Lord, right now, this country as a whole is hurting. And we pray, God, you said if your people that is called by your name to humble their face and pray, seek your face, will humble themselves and pray, seek your face, that you will heal the land. And, Lord, we calling on you in the name of Jesus, Lord, for you know what things these people have need of. You know, God, that that what entities need to come together and unite to bring a, a resolve to the destruction that we sing. We pray, God, that the peace of God that passeth all understanding fill these people's hearts and minds with perfect peace. Give them a peace knowing that all is going to be well, that the things is going to be taken care of, that this would not become a political source to anybody's agenda, but it will begin to work in the favor of all of the people that are affected. Lord, I pray blacks, whites, uh, Jews, Gentiles, anybody that know your name and know what you stand for, that they will begin to unite themselves in prayer that this land will be healed and that these people in the western part of our state will be taken care of. Lord, we take authority over any more of what the devil is trying to do to your people. We bind him in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you will continue to, to send the help that is needed, that you will continue to send comfort to the people that has been affected, that Lord, that you will continue to send hope. And we know that your hope is in the word of God. We pray, God, that as the people begin to take the airways, that they begin to promote the, the, the promises of God to these people and let them know that, God, this was not your doing. Your doing is that no more people died than what died. Your doing was that there was no more destruction than what was destructed. Lord, that they would look for the silver lining and they would see where you had your hand on them, even in the midst of of this destruction, because if we live in this world, we will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for we as believers has overcame this world, and we will continue to do it through the blood of Jesus and through the love that you have sent and that you have towards us. And so, God, I pray that anybody that's viewing this channel today, that, Lord, that they won't just click off this thing, but they will join their faith. And I want to, and, and, and Lord, we give you the glory and the honor and the praise for what you have already done and what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, and all of you that agree, say amen. Put it in the comments, man. Let me know that y'all agree with this prayer. Let me know that y'all like this video, man, for the content that it has. Because if you have a heart and you love Carl, then you love people. And so you pray, you do what you need to do to help bring this thing to a speedy recovery for all of these people that are affected. Because by the grace of God, it could have been us. It could have been us on the other side of the flood, on the other side of the disasters. It could have been us, but by God's grace, it wasn't. So don't overlook that fact and realize that God's hand and his mercy was upon our life. So I praise the Lord for just placing it in my heart. I want to share this with my people that follow my channel and anybody that will view this channel. Just don't click off of it because it don't have a truck or a car posted on the front of it, man. But, you know, just do your part 
And I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you for watching. Appreciate you for following my channel. Appreciate you for supporting me. Built on the budget. And Miss Built on the budget. To the next one. Which will probably have cars in it. Unless God put something else in my heart. Peace.